In today's video, we're going to explore the different energy systems of the body. In today's video, we're going to explore the different energy systems of the body. Make sure you subscribe to catch the follow-up video where I'm actually going to go out and demonstrate all these different energy systems. We can start off by breaking the energy systems into two separate parts, aerobic and anaerobic. Quite simply, the difference between these energy systems is aerobic uses oxygen and then is converted to energy in the muscles, and then anaerobic doesn't use oxygen. When performing anaerobically, you're working so fast your body can't actually process the oxygen to produce more energy in the muscles. So the aerobic energy system will continuously provide energy to the muscles. This is going to be used in longer distance events and throughout long matches or games. Now the anaerobic system is broken into two parts. We've got the glycolysis or lactic acid system and we've got the ATP CP system. Now the major differences between those are the length of time they're going to provide energy to the muscles. So the glycolysis and lactic acid system provides energy to the muscles for around about 20 to 240 seconds. So the glycolysis and lactic acid systems are used in events such as the 400 or 800 meters in athletics. So the ATP CP system is for very short events. So examples of events this system is going to be used in are the short sprints of 60 or 100 meters. You've got the main throws in athletics such as shot put and javelin and then you've also got the high jump and long jump. So that provides a short summary of the energy systems the body uses. Make sure you subscribe for the follow-up video, which is where I'm going to demonstrate these energy systems in a practical setting. 